Good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Thank you for being here, Sagittarius. I've been up since about 2 a.m. Put the coffee on, had myself my shower. Guys, it's like friendships. I kept having Spirit talk to me about friendships. And the exact message was, is that you've been a true friend and they betrayed your trust, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. I hate picking up on that energy, but it's there. Spirit clearly. Ooh. A wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so that you can raise your vibrations to a more positive frequency i am balanced you are a visionary the number 12 and 666 so let's just read the cards 25. You have a great ability to take in and process information both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. I am intelligent. 25. Hmm. Sag. I am a leader. 28. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others and make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and give drive a team toward achievement number 28 which is also a 10 which is a new beginning 7-7 seven, seven. I am brave it is time to move on from old patterns habits and fears now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions now is the time to be bold and brave nine i am compassionate it's your compassion that makes you shine you are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service and that's what i was talking about that dedication of friendship you know, you're loyal, Sagittarius. You're true blue. And you're brave. You're intelligent. And you are meant to be a leader. And I can tell you, you're a great friend, Sagittarius, to many. You may not have had that reciprocated, but let's see. Keeping your circle close. A new portal is being opened to you. Hmm. Very wise. Wisdom is coming again. You have sacred gratitude. What's going on? That's why you're collecting a harvest. You're getting angelic assistance. Maybe you gave angelic assistance to people Sagittarius, maybe you led people, you know, in a, you've helped people on their paths, on their journeys. You were a good friend, Sagittarius. Mm. Twin flame, soul partner. Hmm. 
You're rebuilding your world, creating, expanding, and networking. Brilliant belief systems, luminous life force, and personal power. Balance. You've balanced out your energy. You're fair. You're balanced. Sent here to help heal the earth. You know what I mean? The greater good. You see the big picture. You know? Earth magic. Fiercelessness. Removing obstacles. A lot of you are clairvoyant. You know, stuff before it happens. You're ahead of your time, Sagittarius. You could be an old soul, wise old souls. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Very kind and helpful to others. This is the Infinite Energy Oracle deck, guys. I just love this deck. Yeah. You've made a lot of sacrifices. Sagittarius, you may have aided a lot of people, been very kind and generous to a lot of people. And I can hear the cross watchers going, not the Sag I was dealing with. I don't deal with those energies on this channel. It's I deal with the true blue Sag, you know. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Kindness. You've been very generous and kind. You may have helped, you know, little children. You may have helped the elderly. You might have helped your friends or your companions, your co-workers, family members. That's why you're a soul star. That is, you had a bright destiny since toddlerhood, since you were a child. You're a soul star. The soul star is the chakra above the crown you're you're on a higher level sagittarius can't help it the way you're born you're born that way to help others you could be a star seed or a bright child a clairvoyant a psychic a medium Very loving, compassionate. Look, Venus, you know what I mean? Yeah. You always think of like the elderly. You know what I mean? You're compassionate toward many people. You've helped many people through tough situations or tough uh, times. You know, you don't abandon those who need you in a time of need, you're the first one in there, Saj, to contribute. How can I help? I want to bring my dreams into reality. You know what I mean? You may have assisted people to bring their dreams into reality, Saj. This is someone who is thinking of the greater good in all people. Thinking like, you know, I got to do the best for everybody involved at all times, Saj. Jupiter in luck. That's your ruling planet. You're loving. Venus, compassionate. You've helped people weather the storms when they're depressed, you know, and when they're down on their luck. And, you know, you can always cheer people up, show them compassion. You're a gentle soul, Saj. You really are. But you're not a pushover. You know, you're compassionate and kind, but... You may have been a pushover. <laughs> You're learning, Saj. 
You're still compassionate, though. Sag. It's time for you to self-love. Standing your ground, setting up boundaries, Sag. Because you are reliable and everybody knows it, Sag. They know they can always depend on you, call upon you, that you will assist. But sometimes you just need alone time to collect your thoughts and meditate. Boundaries. You're making a lot of progress, Sagittarius. Your intentions are very well-meaning, you know. You're very compassionate, period. What is the message you're trying to relay to Sagittarius? There you are. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. You're very passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You're a leader. You're, oh, jeez. Ten of Raphael. Love and blessings filling your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. The happily ever after. Nine of Ariel, your dreams are being fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. The love for the beautiful things in life, Sag. Higher perspective. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Well, that's what Saggy does. That's why so many people love you. You make choices from your heart, deeply emotionally commitment, the power of love. You know, you believe in the power of love. You believe in the happy ever after. You believe you have all the good qualities. You would make a great partner, Sagittarius. And just because you're compassionate and giving. A lot of people have taken advantage of that, Sag, which is why you've had to set up boundaries. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. This is the King of Michael. Someone who is principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. It's looking peace. Let go and let God. There is a more enriching future coming. And it's spirit saying it could be this King of Michael. Spirit is saying you're going to have this fulfilled life, but it may not be from the person that you're thinking. Hmm. It's beautiful energy. And if I'm not mistaken, King of Michael may be a sword sign. Anyway, you deserve someone who is just as compassionate 
as what you are. You've always given and loaned people your energy, your compassion, wanting the higher good for everyone involved. If you are this masculine energy, you are very principled, you are very rational and abundant and respected. But for you feminines, this is who is coming in to help you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You've been blessed with clairvoyance. You've been blessed with intuition, which makes you a great leader, which makes you a great friend, a great partner. Mm. And Spirit is saying, those who don't see your qualities, your values, let them go. This is you collecting a harvest. This is you having growth and joy and blessings. Happiest card in the deck. A new opportunity. A blessing of some type. Growth. Hmm. You could be setting out on a new adventure, a new opportunity, a new job, a financial increase to do with your work. A lot of growth with what you're doing with your work. You work hard. You're a great leader. Hmm. What's this? all about mm. I think that uh, yeah hang on sand of a cycle a new beginning so it's looking like you're guarded now and you need to be you know some people look at the wounded warrior as a wounded warrior i look at the wounded warrior as someone who perseveres who has gone through many situations and has learned to protect you're very protective of those you love you're protective of your children. You are protective of your finances. And so you should be. This is someone who has the ability to persevere. Who will stand up and fight when they need to. You fight for those you care about. A new beginning a new idea and that's why you have so many people who are trying to defeat you so many people that are trying to take you down Saj so many people that are jealous and envious and retaliatory toward you deceptive toward you because you are compassionate and you're balanced and you're patient and you're loving and you're kind. You're passionate about whatever you do. You're passionate about your work. You're passionate about your children, your family, your lovers. And that's why these people hurt you time and time again. But you truly are well respected. 
You stand for integrity. You know your value, your worth. This is someone with high morals, high integrity. You're going to have a victory, Sag. Whoever this person was, <laughs> don't think for a second that they don't feel bad for what they did. They are... Huh, hang on. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, this person still thinks of you, Sag. They miss you. It weighs heavily on them. They may have taken the coward's way out. They may have thought that. Maybe you intimidated them. a person who thought that you would never move away from them, move on from them. They could be in this seven of sword energy, thinking that you would never leave them out in the cold, that you would never abandon them. Uh, like I said, you're a good worker, you're a good leader, you have a lot of self-respect, a lot of honor, a lot of dedication, loyalty, some of you could be getting promotions, raises, being put in leadership positions. And you always have these sneaky ass energies around you, Sag. Once you're glowing up here, this is home. You could be purchasing a new home. This is marriage material. This is you celebrating your wins. This person was slowing you down, Sag. They really were. You helped this person out when they were lonely, when they were afraid, when they were down on their luck, when they were troubled. They were bringing all... You helped rebuild this person's life. And when they just abandon you, Saj. But that's why you're getting the victory. Hmm. They got to get their karma. You are Jupiterian. And you move forward. You have the ability to turn the wheel in your favor. And this wheel is turning in your favor. This is celebrating. This is the Ten of Cups. There looks like there's a new person coming toward you. You know what I'm hearing? You fed this person's ego. You built them up just so they could bring you down. Yeah. Just ghost you and walk away. There's a new person coming in, Sagittarius. This may be a King of Cups. A water with air or air with water. Yes. I 
it's a new love that's coming in. Someone who you're going to bond with. Now, for some of you, these soulmates can be anybody. But you are emotionally fulfilled. This person wants to reconcile with you, Sag. And so does this new person coming in. Again, sword sign, someone brilliant, someone intelligent, someone who will speak their truth, but they're not afraid to show their emotions, Sag. That's this person's worst fear. Hmm. Someone is weighing something out, whether they should divorce this third party or not, because they're still in love with you, Saj. Mm. That's what is showing. You've had to set up boundaries. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. A fight. Fighting over you. Whoever your person is with. <laughs> They may be married, they may be divorcing. All they do is fight and argue about children, fight and argue about you. Like I said, people can't stop talking about you. Your name is in everybody's mouth. Your past person is regretting not being with you. And there is a new person coming in. You're smart. You're intelligent. Hmm. Hmm. And someone else is spying on you. Huh. Jeez. Oh my God. Like I said, you are a good friend to many. Hmm. This person may be separating. Wanting to reach out to you and heal things with you. But they betrayed you. They betrayed your friendship. They betrayed your generosity. Your compassion. Your time, your energy, your resources. Yep. Just rejected the most beautiful person 
the most passionate person, the most loving, genuine, sincere person that they have ever met. For what? Karma? <laughs> You're trusting your intuition, Sag. You're moving forward. And they're going through a tower. And you are single. And you are confident. You are a wise leader. You've trusted your intuition. You are moving forward. You've taken your power back. You had to, Sagittarius. That's the truth. You spoke your truth. You've made up your mind. Weren't going to wait around for a person to make a decision about you. You've decided. You have decided. I go wait around for other people to decide what your future is going to be like. Look, you've said what you've had to say. You've been dedicated. You put in the work. What else can you do? The rest is on them. But there is definitely a new person that is coming in, Sagittarius. And you know what? In all honesty, those of you that are choosing to remain single... You're going to be fulfilled anyway. You've got a loving connection around you. Friends, family, close ones. You're going to be fulfilled either way, Sagittarius. Whether you have someone new or not. But there is definitely a new love coming in. Someone very respected, intelligent, rational, ambitious, and respected. Saying, make choices from your heart. The power of love is here, Sag. So whether you're choosing... To remain single or you plan on coupling with someone they are definitely here coming in this is not the past person although the past person is going to make an attempt to come back I don't know when Boundaries, that's the lesson you had to learn, Saj. It was draining you. You know, you've worked hard for everyone else. You've contributed to everyone else. You've dedicated yourself to everyone else. So it's looking like Spirit is saying it is your turn to fulfill your own wishes your dreams, your happiness, your compassionate still, Sagittarius. Just because you may have Queen of Swords them or King of Swords them, you had to. It's a balance of both that logic and that compassion. Learning to set boundaries, that's it. You're like the go-to girl or guy. You could always rely on Sag. Sag will always be there. 
Sad you'll always answer my call. Sad you'll always answer the phone. Sad you'll always be there to cheer me up. So many people relied on you, Sagittarius. You're the go-to person, you know what I mean? Want to get shit done, go ask a Sag. But you've had to learn to... You're selfless, Sag. And you've had to learn to be a little selfish, you know? Self-love. Somebody is like, I thought you was going to be there forever, Sag. I thought I could always rely on you. I could always depend on you. Well, that was until they started taking advantage. They thought wrong. Not to be a doormat. That's a hard lesson to learn. And they know it, Sag. They know it. Knowing. They know it. And now that they're going through a difficult time, and now that they're going through a storm, where's their best friend? Fulfilling their own life. Don't think for a second this person doesn't know <laughs> that you were their true friend. They sacrificed you. You were stronger than what they thought. They thought that you would be so lonely that you would come back to them time after time. You'd take them back, take them back. Sag says, nope, I'd rather be lonely and stable. I'd rather be lonely and stable because they were messing with your mind. They really were. You had more strength than what they thought you did, Sag. Figuring, you know, oh, Sagittarius is going to be down and out for the count. Wallowing in self-pity, crying over me, Sag is like, even if you were hurt, you still keep going on, you know what I mean? You kept on keeping on, you know? That's what Sagis are all about. That's why they are the warriors. There's not many other signs that are that strong, Sagittarius. What would break most? You survive. You can say what you like about Sagittarius. They're not quitters. Even when they're at the roughest times of their life. Man, I don't know where it comes from. That's that warrior energy you're so famous for, Sag. Some people are probably shocked that you're not dead yet, Sag. Just saying. You've, you've been through the battles. <laughs> and you've learned how to win the fight. You fight for yourself. Because half these people just as soon see you drown. You know what I mean? Sag learns to swim. Abandon you out <laughs> without a paddle. You go to shore and you get a branch. 
This is nothing. Sag is, that's why they're a leader. You'll make your own paddle and, you know, they drop you off in the desert. You can walk further distances than anybody else I know. Sagittarius. You're brave, Sag, you're strong, but it's time to self-care and look after you and make your dreams a reality. That's why you have so many copycats. You know, they can dress like you. They can flash whatever they got. But you are the empress. And if you're the masculines, you're the emperors, you're the compassionate ones, you're the the lovers, you know what I mean? Compassionate. Hmm. And even the masculines are like, you know what? I'd rather be alone than deal with bullshit because you masculines are also leaders. And you're like, I'd rather be alone and stable than to settle yeah don't think your exes don't remember your you they will remember you've left a permanent mark on every person they'll might not ever tell you sad but just trust Take care.